Welcome back to Stock Labs, another market recap. I don't know if this is going to be the last one of these. It might be. Uh, I haven't decided. Fly kind of retired from financial blogging to pursue his wealth management business. So, you know, I don't know what the content on this whole page is really going to look like going forward yet. Uh, but anyway, for now, uh, let's just see what happened this past week. Look forward to next week and we'll go from there. So, yeah, we finished up October. It was a little bit of a soft-ish week for markets. I mean, IWM was flat, up nine basis points. The Dow was flat, down 16 basis points. S&P was down 1.35%, and the Qs were down 1.5%. So they were the, you know, most of the weakness in the market. Although overall, things weren't doing that well, even with, you know, the Russell 2000 treading water. Um, we had crude oil down 3%. And what else? Gold was down, but it's still kind of way up there near near its all-time highs and bonds were also down again and the bond trade has just been straight down ever since Jerome cut rates so you know a little bit maybe catching people wrong-footed you know everyone expecting rates to go down and then they just go straight up it's kind of how most things in the market go but Whatever, bond market's important, so we pay attention to it. And uh, if we look at the leadership stocks, they did not – I mean, there were a couple that did okay. Google had uh, good earnings. And Amazon also said some – you know, had some good results and also, you know, made some good comments on maybe how things are going to be moving forward. The rest, Meta down, Apple down, Microsoft down, NVIDIA down, Tesla down kind of big, although Tesla had that huge run on its earnings before, so maybe just part of consolidating that move, hard to say. And if we look at the industries, how they went for the week, not great. Basic materials down 2.7%, utilities down 2.6%, and things in the middle flattish, but overall down. I mean, anywhere from eight tenths, okay, 45 basis points to to one percent down on the median stock. And uh, if we look at Subsectors, we don't really have any leadership, so it's not like stuff was down and people were rotating into something else. It was just stuff was stuff was down overall. And on the uh, on the losers, we have a bunch of semiconductor subsectors on here, which is not good to see because the semiconductor trade has been sort of the backbone of the entire market. You know, talk about Nvidia, but you know. These industries as a whole have been sort of a barometer of future sort of optimism. Um, yeah, so if we look at breadth by market cap, we've got one to five billion cap companies up 12 basis points. So sort of the same as the Russell treading water. Five to ten billion mid caps down thirty two basis points. Ten to fifty billion cap companies down sixty basis points. Fifty to one hundred billion down one percent, and hundred billion market cap and up down eighty four basis points, which is better than what the S and P and the Nasdaq did. But you know between 50 and 100 billion i mean yeah they're a little better than what the index indices did but kind of in line so if we look at the intelligence for the coming week we've got okay marijuana 
I think this, yeah, this is marijuana ETF or cannabis is bullish. Real estate bullish. Small caps bullish. EM bullish. Gold miners bullish. And European stocks bullish. Not really the type of mix that really tells you anything that is actually bullish. You, know, you want to see some stuff like the NASDAQ or semiconductors, um, things that people are actually trading. And on the downside, okay, NVIDIA bear ETF is bearish, so bullish NVIDIA. Semiconductor bear ETF is bearish, so bullish semis. Some kind of blockchain thing is bearish, and EM bear is bearish, and some, oh, this is short arc, Kathy Wood ETF. Bearish, so I guess bullish arc for the week. Um, yeah, I mean it's kind of, it's good that we got some semiconductor stuff on here, but I, I you know it's not that convincing to me. Uh, we have close to an oversold market if we look at the oscillator we have here. Uh, we had one oversold signal using six month sample sizes uh, in. You know, right around Memorial Day, so it's been a while. We had a few overbought signals along the way, and we're almost getting to oversold. If we only look at three-month sample periods, we have, you know, we are oversold here as a Friday close, but I kind of rely more on the six-month signal just for less noise uh, on the longer sample period. So. Yeah, I mean, oh, there's a lot of stuff happening this week. Uh, as everybody knows, uh, there's the election on Tuesday is election day. And, yeah, there's obviously a lot of, you know, we're winning, they're losing, blah, blah, blah stuff, like in the days leading up, just because that's just how it goes. And, um, yeah, so we'll find out Tuesday night. Who wins uh, most likely? And uh, then we have, uh, I think, the Federal Reserve meeting on Wednesday. Is is either Tuesday, Wednesday, or Wednesday, Thursday? I think it's actually Wednesday, Thursday, uh, due to just the election. I don't, not that the same people are doing stuff, but uh, I think they just moved it away from election day. Um, anyway, so you get another Fed decision, which is priced to be a 25 basis point cut, I think. Um, you know, whether that changes anything about the current trends, I don't know. So, yeah, I don't think there's going to be a lot happening in the market on Monday. If there's a big move on Monday, um, you could probably just fade it. So if the market takes off, then just... You can sort of sell, probably sell into it, uh, you know, through the election. If it really dumps out, you could probably buy it into the election and be fine. Overall, you know, the trends have sort of gotten a little bit weaker, but, you know, I think in the end, fund managers are just looking for dips to buy into the end of the year. So whether the NASDAQ goes down another 500 points or whatever from here and then starts going up, I mean, it's kind of just people are just going to choose to jump in and then it's just going to be up only again into the end of the year. So, um, yeah, uh, stay safe out there. You know, you don't need to blow up your account trying to make some crazy bet on the election or anything like that. But, um, yeah, see how everything goes. And I don't know if I'll be back next week, but if I am, we'll talk to you then. Bye.